Greetings my lovelies, hi it's Emmy, welcome back. Today's video is a little bit of a follow up to a video I did a couple months ago about Soylent. For those of you that missed my previous Soylent video or don't know what Soylent is, basically it's a drink that represents a complete meal. For those of you that are too busy or don't have time to cook or are not interested in food, you can have a bottle of Soylent. It comes in a couple of different forms. This is the most recent one. This is the 2.0 version. They also have a powdered version. As I said in that previous tasting, this one is so much better in terms of both its texture and flavor and just ease of use. A lot of you asked in the comment section of that previous video, what can I do to flavor it? I thought of five things that you don't even need a blender to add some flavor to your Soylent. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first idea is frozen fruit, and I particularly recommend frozen raspberries because they defrost quickly and you can squish them. So there is a little bit of a trick if you want to use your Soylent bottle as your mixing container. Give it a good shake so everything is well mixed and pour some of it into a glass. Not only do you need a little bit of room for your additions, but you also need some space to actually agitate and mix whatever you're incorporating there really well. So these have just been sitting out on the counter for just a couple minutes and already they're super soft. So just add that to your bottle and then place your cap and give it a good shake. And then we can replace our Soylent back in there. And surprisingly, it's not pink. Let's give that a taste. Here we go. Come by. Hmm. So the raspberry pieces kind of float on the top. And when you get them, they leave a nice little kind of sour raspberry flavor on your tongue, which is a nice little change up to the kind of flowery taste of the Soylent. Number two is super simple. It's a little bit of maple syrup. This is about a tablespoon and a half. I'm gonna start off with a tablespoon. And I can smell the maple syrup in there. It's nice and sweet. All right, let's give that a taste, here we go. Mmm. And I would say that's a perfect amount for my taste. About one tablespoon of maple syrup is perfect. It gives some of that maple aroma and a little bit of sweetness without being overly sweet. Yeah, maple syrup actually goes pretty well with that. It tastes a bit like pancakes. <laughs> so number three your favorite chocolate spread. You can use a chocolate nut spread, chocolate spread, chocolate cookie spread, whatever you like. This is chocolate and almond. This is really thick, so you wanna pour a good amount of the Soylent out so you have a lot of friction to incorporate that in. I'm gonna put in about a half of a teaspoon to start off with, because I don't want it to be too sweet. Now let's pour into a glass and see how well it mixed. And it mixed pretty well. You still have some of the little particles of chocolate in there but it smells great, it already smells chocolatey. Let's give that a taste. The amount that I put in there just kind of gives it a light chocolate flavor with a touch of sweetness. So if you really want it to be like a milkshake or chocolate milk, I would definitely go for a heaping teaspoon, if not a little bit more. The next combination I have is one of my son's favorite sandwiches and it's almond butter and honey. And I'm gonna again decant some of this out. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon and then some honey. I'm adding about a teaspoon of that as well. Replace the Soylent and you're good to go. It smells nutty, not surprisingly. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm! That and the maple syrup I think have been my favorite so far. The sweetness tastes natural and it's not overly sweet. I think also I just happened to get the proportion right. So yeah, I recommend that one too. And also the almond butter gives it more of a richness and of course a nice nutty flavor. And the last flavor is a little bit of fruit preserves. This happens to be strawberry, but use whatever you like. Again, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon. So the jam instantly sweetens it and gives it a light fruity flavor. But I think if you're looking for a lot of fruity flavor, I would definitely just go with a straight fruit. And then of course you can add honey or any kind of sweetener to that if you'd like as well. All right, so that was five simple ways to enhance your soy lent with a little bit of flavor with ingredients you probably already have in your pantry and you don't even need a blender. So this video is made in partnership with soy lent. Soy lent, thank you so much for supporting my channel and for allowing me to bring better quality videos to my audience. So if you guys are interested in soy lent, I shall put a promotion code down below in the description box where you can get 10% off your next purchase. Thanks again, Soylent, and thank you guys so much for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Let's try this next. And this is called Palinkovac, and this looks like some kind of booze. It actually smells a little bit like... <laughs>